I'll be spending my 24 hours in this little community right here and let's see how everything will go right here. Alright, so I decided to visit my camp so, so I can see my siblings, my fathers who are going through a lot on the floor. So you know, this year flood is so much but it's not just like big as other uh, last uh, two years old. So last two years, everybody ran out of this camp because of the flood. It was so much. This is my father's yam and last two years, this yam flood took over everything and they have to change this particular upstairs right here to a bigger one so the flood cannot take over everything they have up there so i decided to go see my siblings look at all of us they are working they are peeling the cassava okay so they are peeling the cassava so they can be able to store it for the dry season period so i decided to go interview this woman that is uh, preparing her potato for market okay so as you can see this woman have a lot of potatoes right here many of them have sold their potatoes because of the flood and this woman still have her own so she's doing a very great job as you can see here right here all of them are complaining about the flood and if government can intercede for them let government provide these people with either loan or anything that will make them to better the environment these people are cultivating a lot of um homemade products right here cultivating a lot of potatoes yam and other products like in the dry season they cultivate like um um listen pepper um leaves um vegetables and many of them these people have a lot of fish farm right here if when i was in this camp there is a place we used to go to cultivate all these potatoes yams and all that i usually go there still at this moment because i love farming because farming is fun and farming is not easy as well as you can see look at people houses right here and this floor has taken over all this place when i was talking to these people all they were pleading with the government is to help them secure good environment where they can run to because this state is in the what is in Delta state so but it's um, close to Obakuba and Ambra state region that is Obaro region and all that so this in the is not have road so if government can just listen to them and give them road these people will live a better life than this so help me comment and thank any government official you know let them see this video and then help these people because all of them are going through a lot and they really need help not that they need help for money they don't need money they need social life good life education and either loan to support the agriculture in order to provide more products for the community because these people are one of the most providing um agriculture is in this particular area they provide a lot and look at how flood are destroying everything on this area right here as you can see okay you are in our system but i could see i'm when we could you go you are in wabapo then they join your tassel they say you may be you may be you may be you can't charge this come with you i'm an i am or what you want to look at you on i've been down now i will be guy on the line i will go i will go on the knee no no nice no nice so after every interview i did with these people i decided to have fun with the water so as you can see this is one of these small boats we have here that w this boat is used for fishing though <laughs> i just fell into the water because i don't actually know how to do this thing and then i was still learning though everybody in this particular community know how to drive this small boat i only drive this big boat okay that is canoe okay so i only drive ride is it drive or ride so i only ride this i have fallen again <laughs> so i don't actually know how to do these things and I was still learning, so I went to fishing after the other thing and I guess what I caught a lot of fish from the water and I use it for pepper soup. So as you can see, I was doing this thing with my sibling and they are there filming me as I right try to learn how to ride this particular small fishing boat that I fall again and I was helpless. I don't actually know what to do because I really really want to learn this thing. I was having fun, everyone was fun to me. People over there were laughing that uh, I could not drive this small boat. So I gave it to one of my siblings here. I said, okay, you know how to drive. Oh yeah, take and drive. So this boy really surprised me by making attempt and he really ride this small boat very, very well. Look at him, look at how he's enjoying everything. 
even though the um, storm in this river is, uh, is small and is stopping the right and he did a very good job and kudos to him his name is Peter and shout out so we decided to go over here and then um, you know ferment the the peeled cassava right as you can see we are trying to put it in a bag so it can ferment after four or five days okay so this is how to make cassava process this is my sister and all of them are working so hard i really love this so much and they mean a lot to me so shout out to all of them this is where we're having fun and if you love us please comment share and subscribe to this channel as i hope to see you in my next video masking banana Ooh, we are going see you in my next video bye